Welcome back. Moving forward in this lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how to go about creating the next screen. In the previous lecture, we created the splash screen, which you see right here. Here, moving forward with this particular project, we are designing an iPhone 8 app design. So notice it's iPhone 8, and then the size of the actual frame is 375 by 667. So we're making use of our existing material design kits or messenger platform kit or any other design kit that you can actually get and I've stored them in the resources area. You can download the zip file. Of course, there are other websites like figmaresources.com. You can actually go and bring those kits directly into Figma as well. All right, so moving forward after the splash screen, I like the next screen built. Of course, I can build it from scratch, right? I can go to frame and then insert another one. The easiest way, like I mentioned earlier, just go to your design kits, for example. And I'm just going to go to the messenger platform design kit. And this is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and, in fact, select this extension container, which is the entire container size. And make sure you have the same size. So you're not actually bringing in a container of different size. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Go back to my splash file here and then simply paste it. And it pastes the entire container. I can now pick and choose which one of these I like to make part of my particular app design. So I'm going to go ahead and simply choose this one right here, which is the iOS container. So I'm going to copy this. and paste this bring it away from my canvas and i'm going to get rid of this perfect so i have this container root here make sure i've selected the entire container root before i move it there we go so notice it is the same size right so it's 375 by 667 whereas my iphone 8 is also the same size so this is going to be our next screen and this is helpful i'll make this bigger Notice I already get all of these icons, right? So for instance, I have the status bar, I have the back button, I have the identity of the phone, even a video you can play. So all of these icons are already placed within my frame. If I bring up my layout grid, for instance, for the iOS container root, so click on the plus sign, the grid is 10 pixels and here are my columns right and then my rows so notice and this is by default the five columns or rows so if i increase this to let's say seven it kind of gives me a nice idea so i can this way increase or decrease the actual status bar or the menu bar perfect so let me get rid of these layout grid here okay so once you have the design Notice you can actually change whatever it is that you would like to change. If I need to change the fill color, I could do so. Maybe you want to have this light blue or other blues. So it just depends on your own requirement. Now you can play around with this. And as a homework, as a task, go ahead, make some changes to the actual layout. Maybe you want to move the phone button next to the video or the video button first and so on. So once I have the title screen here, Next, I can insert additional cards as well. Since my app design is related to cars, similar to the previous projects that we've been doing, I'm going to go ahead and insert some cards here. Okay. Or maybe first insert, let's say, an image. So simply click on the place image. And then this is going to bring us the image here. And I'm going to pick and choose any one of these images, right? So let's say I want to insert this image here. There we go. Okay. So once I have the next screen, I'm just going to say a welcome here. So I'm just going to create some text. I'm going to say welcome to vintage cars. I'm going to highlight the text, make it a little larger. Maybe I want to do a 24 font. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and crop this image and fix up this image here. Perfect. Now the image is, in fact, within my own screen. And that's exactly what I 
did. I kind of filled this image so that it fits the entire iOS screen. Okay, so I'm going to say welcome to vintage cars. Maybe decrease the font size so it kind of. And it's a good practice not to overlay the fonts on the images. So you want to make sure that you're actually using this as a good practice. There we go. Make it smaller. All right, so this is going to be a next screen, right? From here on out. So next, I'm going to just make or copy this screen. So I have this entire container root selected. And just use the Alt key and just copy it again. So this is what essentially is using the Alt key and copying the entire frame, including the nav bar, the menu bar, the status bars together. So once I have this, I'm going to go ahead and in fact, remove this image and let's see next i want to insert go back to my material kit design i want to find some cards here and what i'm looking for are image cards right so i can actually place certain images onto my next screen okay smaller again there we go so i'm going to pick any one of these cards which is helpful because I don't have to draw the entire card. I can simply select one of them, just copy it, go back to my splash screen, and then paste it. And notice it kind of pastes the card right here. So each screen is going to display maybe a car image within the card title. I can copy it again, or in fact, instead of copying it, I'm going to use the, make this a component, right? So bring this card out and use the Alt key and create a couple of cards. Maybe we want to use four cards. So next, I'm going to go ahead and place these cards onto the screen here. And again, you can design your own way, the way you want it. I'm just going to display four cards on the next screen. And then each of these cards are aligned properly. I can give it a card title here. And then of course, an image as well. So go back to my image tool, bring up the image, and just pick any one of these cars and it is going to place the image within the card itself and notice it fills the rest of the cards because I used the alt key and copied it right so it actually created a component so anything changes to the first changes to the rest of them so now I'll make this bigger so you can actually see I've placed four cards onto my screen number two so that way you can kind of design keep continuing to design your app and move forward I can say maybe on my title screen here or on the second screen welcome to vintage cars click here to get started I can place a button so let me go ahead and quickly find a button here maybe I want to use this round button go back to my splash screen and then simply change the fill color use the eyedropper that looks good and I want to change the button size to maybe 150 maybe I'll do a hundred there we go and I want to get rid of this of course perfect so that way you can kind of continue on and design your own app right so of course I can place some text here I can say click here make sure my text is centered change the font of the text to white there we go looking nice so now once the user clicks on this button here is going to take the user to the next screen which is going to display four different cards and that way you can continue on building your app so as homework go ahead create a splash screen which we did in the first section here then we created our next app design screen and then of course our cards placement as well and of course Here's my card title. So if I change the title to, let's say, say vintage, notice the rest of the cards change as well, which is kind of nice working with components, right? And using the alt key to copy. And we've done this before. So a very powerful tool. So I hope this helps. Practice and let's move to the next lesson.